everybody. Welcome back to Dead Car Rescue. Fanats don't eat me up before I get through. I'm going to cut a quick, quick clip video here of what I'm going to do. Going to Sykeston, Missouri tomorrow morning. It's Friday. And uh, the next day is Saturday. There's going to be a two-day event there. It's for YouTubers only. And uh, spectators don't have to be YouTubers. but And uh, we're going to go up there and meet all these other YouTubers from all over the country. They're going to be there tomorrow. This is the third annual um, No Name Nationals in Sykeston, Missouri. We're going for the first time because we've been a YouTuber a year and a year and month almost. So uh, we get to go and we're taking the $800 race truck. We're also taking the side by side so we won't have to walk around. We're, we're old. Me, Flash, my brother Bob, my grandson Landon is going to be driving the $800 race truck in the racing part of it. Now, Flash, he's going to be doing the burnout competition Friday night in the $800 race truck. We're going to switch tires, and uh, hopefully hopefully he can win this one. I don't know. He won the one at that drag strip here just a month or so ago, but uh, we're going to go for it. Let me show you the truck. Okay, we've got the spare tires loaded up. Those are burnout tires in the bed there. So uh, you, they won't look like that when we get back. And my buddies at 727 Motorsports, uh, they sponsored the burnout competition in Paragool, Arkansas at George Ray's Drag Strip. They did a great job and uh, pull them up on YouTube and look at your channel. Uh, they are LS people. If you like LS motors, you'll like that. All right, here's my old $700, $800 race truck, which is not really $800 anymore because we won $500 at that that drag uh, strip a month or so ago. And we've got a tachometer now. We've also got some gauges. We got headlights and we've got a flashing light on top of the truck. Now, we'll see you over at Sykeston, Missouri tomorrow morning early. And thank you for watching now and uh, we're at the No Name Nationals in Sykeston, Missouri. It's YouTubers only. You might see some of your favorite YouTube guys out here today. But uh, we're here, and that's a tech line. You can see the cars, some of them lined up. You got to go through tech. And uh, we're set up here. Got our barbecue grill out. This is old Bob. He's going to be driving around, me around filming today. So. This is our first time to this event. We've never been here. Uh, we, we've already saw some YouTubers we've seen on the YouTube channel already. So let's go take a look at some of the cars. A little Mopar stuff for the Mopar fans. Michael Slater's a Mopar fan. He's a friend of mine. A little Valiant Lancer. Another one, a little 280Z, probably got a V8 in it there in Louisiana, this is Tennessee.
best pit thrash. Worst oil down. Star traveling long distance award. Burnout competition winner, that'll be us. Second bracket winner, low ET. Top speed, that won't be us. People's Choice Ironman Award. Engineering Award. Cinderella Award. Monkey Bike. And that's the trophies. And I guess this guy's this guy's the main head knocker here over this thing, ain't you? I'm more crazy enough to volunteer to do all that. Okay. We do it for you guys. Okay, well. Hey, we're glad to be here. here. Cool rig in here, by the way. So I hope you see some content on, on his channel. Good morning, everybody. No name nationals, folks. If you ain't never been to it, just like us, you gotta come. But anyway, guys and gals, we're gonna get this started here in just a little bit. I'm good. Alright. Yeah, we are gonna have our group photo of this. Little, looks like a four wheel drive rambler. Yep. That's what it is. Now this car right here, folks, I've heard that that's all he does in that Homer is he goes to burnout competition so he's going to be a tough hombre busted radial garage I've seen him, I've watched his videos now this is one of our neighbors Candy Cane he races at the same racetrack Greg Strip we do uh, Big Block 402 is his channel's name y'all look him up More Mopars, dang. Michael Slater's going to OD on Mopars today. He's going to come over here and say, is this the Mopar Nationals? Guy just rolled past me and he said he ain't never seen nobody go through tech without a front end before. Who did? The guy on that, uh, the guy right there on that little bike. So oh. we'll see, we'll see how we fare. We couldn't pass tech because our drive shaft loop was too far back. So we're going to take that. Okay, we didn't pass tech because the drive shaft loop was too far back, about six inches too far back, and it wasn't, it, but as long as we put street tires on it, like the ones we're gonna do the burnout competition with, we're legal. It's a slow truck, and my grandson just wants to get out there and race, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change the tires, take the slicks off, put them up, not even use them today. We're gonna to do the drag racing and the burnout with uh, with uh, regular street tires. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Let's do it to it. Okay, we're ready to go now. We got street tires on it. At least my grandson will get to get out there and play. He might burn the tires off when he takes off. You'll probably have to feather that thing off the line or smoke it. I think so. Yeah. I think you can handle it with street tires. Don't don't hit the wall or nothing like that. It'd be like driving a burn, like one of them real fast, fast cars. Because they take off, they slide and smoking them tires anyway. But you're in an $800 budget race truck. If it gets too loose, I'll just let it out. Huh? So if it gets too loose, I'll let it out. Okay.
Scared? I saw him talking to you. What did he say? He said, uh, "I just I told him. Uh, he said I told him we swapped tires, and uh, he said so you're going to run slower. And I was like, yeah. He's like, he's like it probably won't spin these tires over on that prep track anyway. Like, That's all you need. I was, like, I, ain't, I was like, I ain't really worried about going fast anyway. This is our buddy Jeff and Jaron Long. That's a fast Mopar right there. He's gonna be running small tires. He's from Dice, Arkansas. That's where Johnny Cash was uh, was raised around. Oh, Jaron. How you doing? Thank you, John. Thank you, guys. Local. Great. Yeah, that's a good looking bunch of trucks. And I would say, it looks like we've got everybody out there that wants to have their solar pickers. So, ladies and gentlemen, please move yourselves to the wall. Once again, folks, thank you. We do appreciate it. Yeah, because we've got, uh, we've got, uh, and be sure and smile as the drone goes by. Heck, you can even wave. Yeah. Yeah. So, Travis, you want to take a couple of still photos first? And then we'll fly on down through there? All right, we'll let everybody get over on the wall and into position. I see John Wilburn out there. All right, folks. Travis has got the drone airborne. We were probably about 60 feet up last year. I don't know if you have an altimeter on that or not, but you got a good view. All right, everybody, wave at the camera. You know what would be cool? You guys could take video of the drone taking video of you. <laughs> there we go. A little bit higher. Hey, wake up. The show's about to start. Where am I at? Where we at? Chicago. How did I get up here? You was drunk last night. Oh, y'all leave me up here all night long? We left you last night and went to Lambert's and you're still laying there. We are going to have our Texas team session. out in the street. Well, call out for us. never been down the racetrack before has never raced all right so i'm going to talk to you guys first first thing is safety here getting ready to make our first pass at least landing to get to drive it get some seat time
he's dead in this second. He's dead, be watching gun smoke. Dad. Dad. Can I have your car keys? Dang. He won't let me alone. Lay him on the couch. He didn't bring me in hand. He, he laid him right there on the couch. Him the bank. You know, I, sh I shouldn't get that. <laughs> What'd you say you drove from? I drove from Michigan. From Michigan and that? And no no issues, no problems? Uh, she runs a little hot, but you know, I, I did blow it up two months ago and I put it together with a couple hours of work every week. So. It's a Mini Cooper. Yep, Mini Cooper. What year? 05. 05. <laughs> I'll make it. Yep, it's got a TJ drill, scrambler hood, part of an Astro van in the middle to widen it out. <laughs> Uh, CJ5 fenders and a YJ rear tub, and that's my in laws trampoline. Right, that's a roll cage. Did you get stopped by any cops? I'm surprised I've not been pulled over yet. Uh, all the lights work from the Jeep panels and everything. So I just look and keep down down. That, that is actually that's cool. We like it. Thank you. We'll watch your channel. What is it? It's uh, Hubert's Projects. Hubert's Projects. It's Hubert's Projects. Pretty this much if it's free or cheap, we work at it. Okay. We don't like to spend money on anything. So if we claim something, that's how we do it. That's why it's all going, Dick. Yep. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Be, See you, man. Be careful going home when you yeah. go. Will do. Thank you. Burnout car. That's all it's for. Busted radio garage. How dare you? On the left side of the car.
both from the front and the back. That's definitely why I don't want to do that. Okay, everybody, welcome back. It's the next day, it's Saturday morning. We're not going back to uh, No Name Nationals. Uh, the truck's just not ready for anything. So we're not gonna go back over there today, but uh, we had a good time. Uh, we didn't win the burnout competition. We didn't get to drag race much, but oh well. We had a good time, met a lot of good people. Uh, people at the track was super nice. And uh, they also, had a very nice track i've never been there before and it's only an hour and a half away from my house but i will go back all right flash did a good job last night uh out of about eight cars maybe nine we came in fourth i think it was and uh some of the other guys that had had the more horsepower and stuff like that won the thing but uh Dirty Hippie, I think, was the guy's name that won it. But uh, as you can see, Flash did a number on that tire. The truck still runs. I mean, he got hot last night. Uh, it was running about 300 degrees, so we don't know if we hurt the motor or not, but it fired right up and had a 40-pound oil pressure. So we're okay with that as long as it still runs. Maybe we can do another burnout and just keep burning out until that... Uh, that engine's gone. Look at that. But that's what you get when you got a, a burnout truck. I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. Uh, this, like I said before in a video, this may not be something you really want to watch. And I'm not going to probably ever do one of these every now and then. But I'm going to post them. I hope you guys can watch. I noticed uh, some big YouTuber on TV last night when I came in about midnight. Pulled it up and in six hours he had 177,000 views. Wow. That's where I want to be someday, but I'm never going to get there because I'm old. And back when I was younger, I, I might I might have could have made this thing work, but when you're old like this, you don't feel like working a lot like a young guy would. You just take what you can do and do what you can do and take what you get, okay? But we had a good time and we're living a dream, folks. This is my dream, a YouTube channel, making a little bit of money off of it and uh, getting to do stuff that I've always wanted to do since I was a kid, like a burnout competition. I asked Flash and Bob, I said, did you ever think back when we were, you know, broke, 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 back when we first got married and stuff, and did you ever think we'd be able to have a, a bunch of cars and a, do a burnout competition and drag race as many, many years as we have? We've had a good life, and we still got more to come. So, okay, folks, that's going to end it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Thank you to my subscribers. I look forward to you guys every day. I try to answer every comment you make. So uh, just keep commenting, keep watching. Push that like button for me. That like button, push it, push it, push it. Just push it once though. Push it because it really helps me when you watch a video. The analytics, 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 that helps those and it makes me more money. Until next time. This is Steve for Dead Car Rescue. 
I'll see you on the next video. God bless.